We studied women who were undergoing uh, menopause and who also participated in a clinical trial looking at two different hormone therapies. One was the oral conjugated equine estrogens, which we set, set, refer to them as CEE, and 17-beta um, estradiol transdermal patch. We also had a placebo group. Now, hormone therapies in women who are undergoing menopause are quite controversial in terms of whether they have any effect on cognitive, future cognitive health, cognitive function, any influence on the brain. So what we did was, after women were started on therapies, we followed them over time with MRIs and cognitive testing to see if they show any brain structural changes changes over the course of the treatment. We then waited another three years to follow them up in a total of seven years of follow-up period to see whether these hormone changes, pers the brain changes due to the hormones persisted after the tr treatment was over. Um, and what we found was that um, in the CEE formulation, there were some brain structural changes that occurred during treatment, which was um, more shrinkage in the brain, and that though did not persist after the treatment was withdrawn. Um, on the other hand, we did not see those kinds of effects in the estradiol group. Um, the estradiol group actually showed lower amyloid levels, particularly in those who were APOE4 positive, which is a risk factor for Alzheimer's disease, as we know. So, um, in the estradiol group, we also found that there was a certain region of the brain called dorsolateral prefrontal cortex that preserved its volume compared to the placebo group, whereas the placebo group had greater shrinkage in that cortical region, the estradiol group did not show as much shrinkage. So there was some beneficial effect in terms of how the brain changed over time. And this happened over a seven year period, so it was a long uh, time interval. However, during this time, we did not see any cognitive changes. So cognition was very similar across the groups. And I want to remind you that we are, the women we studied were in their uh, 60s, early 60s, by the time they reached the seven-year landmark. So um, these were relatively young women. Perhaps the cognitive effects will be seen later on. Um, so that's kind of the summary of what my talk was about. It's possible that estrogen is exerting its effects on the brain through the receptors and estradiol is the compound that actually binds to those receptors. The compound in the oral CEE is quite different from estradiol. It contains other estrogen components such as estrone and sulfonated um, conjugates of estrogen. So it's possible that its effectiveness on the receptors were quite different. Therefore, the effects of CEE and estradiol may not be the same.